Welcome back to Let's Play Minecraft. In this episode, we're going to be going off in search of a stronghold. I went back to the Season 1 house, picked up some blaze rods from there, and I now have a decent amount in my inventory, 12 blaze rods, and I've also already crafted up four Eyes of Ender. So let's find a nice flat place to stand, and we'll throw an Eye of Ender from here and see where our nearest stronghold is. It's... oh, that way. Okay, so that's... That's kind of back towards the Season 1 home. All right, well, I'll take the nether transport back to the Season 1 home and chuck an eye of ender from there and see where it lands. One thing you may notice looking at my inventory is that the condition on my tools has been returned to 100%. I, I suffered a, a, bit of a, a bit of a save file corruption, and the only backup I had was actually taken at the beginning of the previous episode. I forgot to take a, a backup of my save at the end of the previous episode. So that's why I've had to sort of recreate my inventory using creative mode. Hello, Mr. Zombie Pigman. Yeah, I, I tried to recreate things with as little disruption as possible, but really couldn't be bothered with all the hassle that would go into setting the durabilities of all these tools back to their original values. This is close enough, I think. Okay, here we are back at the Season 1 house. And let's find a nice flat bit on the green where we can sling an eye from and see which way it goes. I'm guessing it's going to be roughly in this direction, maybe? Ah, exactly in that direction. Is it going to break? Please don't break. It didn't break. Hooray. Right, so I guess now we just run off in this direction until throwing the eyes results in the thingies coming back. You know what I mean? Okay, I found the spot. I travelled out here, uh, and once I got to the end of these trees, I threw a pearl uh, not a pearl, an eye vendor, and it came backwards, so I'm pretty certain I'm standing on top of the stronghold. I have dug down a little bit just to check, and indeed I saw some, some of that cracked stone brick. So yeah, we're definitely on top of the stronghold, and uh, I, I've dug out a little room just down here, placed a bed in it, given that night is now falling. We can set our spawn, and then we will head into the stronghold and see what perils it contains. One thing I have also done is just opened, I just set a chest here and just put my spare ender pearls and blaze rods in there because obviously I'm not really very interested in losing them. So I've got some lava here that I can use to deal with any uh, any of those little silver fish that may decide to get all up in my face. Right, so we're coming into the library to start with. There's sometimes a chest in here containing some half decent loot. Should we see if we can find that? Not seeing anything. Ooh, nearly went through a door. Oh, there's a bit of a gap down there. I need to be careful. Right, can I get up to that top level? Is there a ladder? Oh, there it is in this corner. All right, slap down one or two torches. Oh, here's a... Oh, hello you. Dealt with. Okay, let's, uh, let's grab this chest here. What does this contain? Power 3, Protection 2. They're pretty good. Uh, I don't think they're as good as what I've already got, but still not bad regardless. I'm not seeing... Oh, there is an additional chest on there. Yeah, let's, uh, let's make our way over to that. Oops. I'm stuck in a... Come on, get out of it. Bloody webs. Ah, it's this one down here I'm stuck in. Alright, this chest contains looting, sweeping edge. That's, uh, that's an enchantment I've never had before. Right, okay, this... I'm kind of reluctant to take all of this loot further into the stronghold. Because the likelihood just seems very high that I'm going to die and lose it all, but... Eh, I'm pretty tough. Okay, I can hear a zombie, and I see something over there. What's that thing I saw? Oh, it's a door. Well, I was getting all worked up about nothing. All right, let's make our way carefully down this little staircase here. What have we got? Torches going down quite quickly. It might be necessary for me to find some coal. Where is that noise coming from? Close by. Must be up here somewhere. No. In here. Hmm. 
Oh, I think I've found the portal room. Yeah, let's destroy the silver, silver spawner. Ah, bloody things. I want to get rid of the spawner. There we go. There we go. And then let's beat a little bit of a retreat. And let's just torch the lot of them. And I can hear a skeleton. And I'm low on torches. I can see the skeleton. Come on, skelly. Gotcha. Right, okay, so I don't technically need to explore the rest of this stronghold. I found everything I need. Let's just make sure there's no silverfish left in here. Doesn't seem like it. Very good. That's the last of my torches. Right, let's uh, deal with this water here. That can really ruin your day if you don't do that. Okay, so... Right, that's pretty much ready to go. It's got two eyes in it already. So I'll need three, nine, and ten. Yeah, I've definitely got ten eyes of Ender or the capability to make that. But what I want to do now is just want to make a safe way back to that back to that little room on the surface, I think. Just make sure that my path is secure. Um probably break down the doors. Okay, I apparently didn't come this way. Never mind. So which way did I come? It was probably through one of these doors somewhere. Definitely not that one. So it does look like there might be some, yeah, some half decent loot in there. Oh, I don't like this situation. Okay, this door is the one I came through. It's light on the other side. Yeah, so I will break this door. Yeah, and then that'll make it easier to find it later. And then there's that mysterious zombie, which I, th I think I just need to hop across here. And does this take me back to the library? Certainly does. Okay, well that's cool. I mean, I, I could certainly explore this stronghold for more loot if I wanted to. But uh, I think that for now, I've got what I need. Let's just make a, a nice clear way up. Okay, so I think what I'd quite like is uh, to have a, a portal linking this up. Now, unfortunately, I wasn't clever enough to bring some obsidian with me, but maybe I can... What, what height am I at? Yeah, I'm, I'm at 24, so if I dig down, I should be able to get some obsidian fairly quickly. But I don't have any torches, and I see a creeper over there, and he sees me. Okay. Let's... um. Let's ruin his fun. Oh, he can get to me anyway. Fun not ruined. No. Oh, it didn't work. Well, okay. We'll have these books then. Yeah, I, I did a pretty poor job of blocking him off there. Hmm. No. I nearly just ate some lava. That was pretty bad. Yeah, I've got all these valuables. Uh, maybe... Let's, let's try and get some coal. Let's get some coal, let's make some torches, and then I can have a crack at exploring my way down to some obsidian. I mean, I can hear some lava bubbling away somewhere, but I'm not equipped to look for it yet. Right, there we go. I've got a few torches. So I'm going to pop all those, those books into the chest that I've set here. Did I just see a creeper? No, it's just a green book. Yeah, let's, let's pop all this loot in here. So that I don't lose that if I die. Okay, let's... Yeah, let's get in there. Let's try and find ourselves a little bit of obsidian. Of course, I am in danger of getting myself quite badly turned around in here. Oh, creeper. So I'm doubting whether this was really a smart move. That is a good bow, isn't it? Actually, I suppose back at the portal room, I just created a whole bunch of obsidian, didn't I? Yeah, of course, when I put the thing in the what's it. You know, the la- uh, I'm a fool. Right, is this where I came from? It is. Okay, I've got a block. I can make a little bridge. Uh, 
And let's follow the path back to the portal room. Yeah, of course I can mine all this stuff. I'll be able to make a portal with that. Okay, yeah, it's kind of embarrassing it took me so long to come up with that. All right, so let's make the nether portal in this room just out here. So it's close, but not too close. Only nine pieces, so I'm going to need to get myself one more, but there's extra puddles just over here. That'll do. And let's just slap it against this wall here. Now, I do have some iron back at my little bedroom. Hello. Uh, but I do need a little bit of gravel to make a flint and steel. So let's just have a peek around for some of that. Funny how there's never a bunch of gravel around when you actually need it. What is the deal with that? There's some. All right. Let's just pound on this until we get ourselves a piece of flint. There we go. Piece of flint at long, long last. Right, so I can make a flint and steel. I can light the portal. What I do then is I go through to the nether and I see where it brings me out. Uh, once again, let's let's put a couple of things away just for safekeeping. Okay, so the portal is lit. Let's make a little note of my coordinates. Grab a pen. Throw a pen on the floor. Give up trying to find the pen, grab another pen. Right, so we've got minus 1449 and we've got 588. So that's where we're, we're going to be needing to build a portal to link back here if this links to an existing portal, which it shouldn't. We'll see. Okay, so that's a dangerous place for a portal to be. Let's go back through, shall we? Is that working? Uh, okay, I don't like this place. This is one of the worst portal places. Okay, this is fine. Okay, this portal is not in a very useful location. I think I want to go back through. Um... Yeah, yeah, that's pretty horrific. Right. Okay, we need to make some changes. <laughs> I'm going to need to head back to safety and then build myself a new portal on the nether side that links to this because that one there, that's, that's no good at all. <sighs> that's a horror. That is a real genuine horror. <laughs> right, okay then. Back to, uh, back to civilization, I suppose. All right, so here we are back at the season one base. Cows leaking out of the pen, as they so often do. So I figured out that in the nether I need to make a portal at minus 18174 if I want that to automatically link up to the one that I've got in the, uh, in the stronghold. And hopefully that will then override the awful one that the game made for me. So let me see. So let's... Let's get as close as we can. It looks like the village portal might be in roughly the right direction. 74. So from here, I don't want it to dig until I get to minus 181. Okay, let's let's get on with that then. And I don't have any torches on me, so I'll just use the flint and steel to make a little light source in the wall every now and then. Oh, lava. No problem. Fast reflexes will save the day. I suppose my main concern really is finding myself suddenly just dropping through a hole into a big lava pit. Yeah, still got a fair distance left to go, so this might be famous last words. Let's 
suppose if I try and keep it reasonably light in here, then I'll see that pit before we actually hit it. And this is a very nice pick for digging through the nether at high speed. Right, here we go. Yes, and indeed my, my portal is somewhere down there, isn't it? Okay, I wonder if I can make my way a little higher up. Okay, so I've made my way to the right spot, but hey, guess what? I forgot to bring some obsidian. Brilliant. Anyway, uh, yeah, in principle, the portal wants to be just here, so I can carve out a little space for it at least. But, yeah, not going to be able to actually place it until I find myself some obsidian from somewhere. So I guess I'm heading my way back to base again. To be honest, it's for the best. I probably should have put all my goodies away before I came out here anyway. Okay, here we are back at the portal spot. Let's place the blocks. Let's fire at the portal and let's go through. This should be pretty safe. I'm almost certain that this will link back to the portal inside the stronghold that I had before. Indeed, that has worked fine, very satisfactory. Now this next bit is the slightly risky bit, so I'm gonna put everything into a chest. Let's slack it just down here. And I'm gonna put in everything except for a pickaxe. It's quite a nice pickaxe. So I don't really want to lose it, but either way, I'm gonna go through here. And if it still brings me out in the bottom portal, I'm gonna break that portal and commit suicide. I really don't like the idea of committing suicide with this pickaxe, but I can make another one. Actually, I should, uh, I should take off this armor. No point sacrificing that. Well, okay, yes, there's stakes. A diamond pickaxe. It's good to have some stakes, isn't it? Right, let's do it. Where will we come out? And I'm low. It's not what I wanted. Hmm. Well, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to break this portal and then I'm going to see if we can get our way back to safety. So let's, uh, let's gather all of this obsidian, just because it's a shame for obsidian to go to waste. Right, and now to see if I can make my way back to civilization. So, do I see anything I recognize? Not sure that I do. Okay, I don't have a sword. I just have this pickaxe that I'm trying not to lose. I have no idea which way to go. Let's, uh, let's head this way. Anything at all I recognise. Oop, that's a hole. I suppose I could use F3 to... So that's getting me back towards zero. So yeah, in principle, if I head in this way, that should take me to somewhere where I soon recognise something. Got a little bit of a, a lava river to cross. Um, hup, made it. Okay, here's a fortress. It makes a spooky noise. I wonder if that's the fortress that I have already explored back at the end of series one. Okay, well, let's, let's see if we can get past it. Does this... Oh, that's dangerous. What about this direction? Will this get me out somewhere? Very dark. Okay, I'm hearing blazes doing their thing. But I'm continuing to head in the direction that will take me back to to the origin. Uh, can I get up here? Mm, I think I need to go up this way. Oh, gas there. Oh, a torch. That's a good sign. That's a very good sign indeed. Yeah, this is the fortress that I've already explored. So, in principle, I should be able to follow this 
back to home. Now, of course, the difficulty is that I still don't have a sword, so I've got to be careful what I run into on the way. And that way I definitely don't recognise. Let's have a little peek up here. Maybe up onto this ledge here. Oh, there's torches over there. Oh, oh, and I recognise that. That gateway. Yes, okay, I just need to get up here. What's the easiest way to do that? I suppose a, a pillar and then a sky bridge. All right, oops. That was nearly everything over in a bit of a hurry, wasn't it? Okay, so I'm back on the network. Right, this is good. I'm back to safe tunnels. Yeah, I can hear those gasps off in the distance, but I'm not frightened. So, the thing to find out is whether my trick worked. If I now go back to the portal um, that is at the stronghold, and I go through and back again, will it now use the portal that I crafted for the purposes of not coming out down in the lava lake? Let's see. I'm also running low on my hunger bar, so... Hmm, I might not get another stab at this. All right, so here we are. Let's go through, back to the overworld. We know that this works and brings us out in the stronghold. There it is, no problem. And hopefully this will take us back to where we were. Indeed it does. Excellent. So we now have an official stronghold nether portal. Right, I can go through and grab my stuff. I'm going to head back to my base, sort myself out. And, uh, well, I may not straight away plan my assault upon the end dragon because I was kind of planning on keeping that for a sort of series ender. Um, so there's a few more building projects that I want to get done first. But anyway, thank you very much for watching this video. There was peril, there was risk. Oh, there was good times. See you next time. Bye-bye.